So you want passive income by investing in high-yield dividend stocks but your portfolio is full of real estate investment trust, not to mention oil and gas stocks. You need to diversify but what sector should you be looking at and for that matter, what stocks should you put your money in? Welcome to Dividend Dive, today we are going to help answer those questions with not only a deep dive into the sector but also 3 stock recommendations plus a bonus recommendation, so be sure to stay until the end. But before we start be sure to subscribe to our channel. And tell us in the comments you subscribed. We love to hear from you, our subscribers. Let us know what you would like us to focus on in our next episode. Now let's dive in and diversify that portfolio. A sector that investors discount because its stocks aren't known for their dividend earning potential, is the healthcare sector which is one of the largest components of the S&P 500 index. In fact, the S&P 500 index tracks 11 primary sectors, with healthcare being one. In 2023, the sector had a total market capitalization of $7.3 trillion. Only two other sectors, information technology with $13.9 trillion and financials at $8.4 trillion were valued more. Healthcare is further broken down into six industries, including biotechnology, healthcare equipment and supplies, healthcare providers and services, healthcare technology, life sciences tools and services, and finally pharmaceuticals. Taken as a whole, healthcare stock dividends are the lowest yielding sector at just 0.55%. Technology, the second lowest dividend yielding sector, generates an average yield of 1.01%. Financial stocks, which boast the highest dividend yield, generate 3.05% on average. Although healthcare isn't considered ideal for dividend focused portfolios, pharmaceuticals and well established healthcare providers do provide attractive returns. Healthcare stocks consistently outperform the broader market during late business cycles and even recessions. It's not difficult to see why, unlike consumer discretionary stocks, which are highly cyclical and largely dependent on disposable income, demand for healthcare doesn't go down because of the economy. If anything, demand for healthcare is rising as baby boomers retire in record numbers. For these reasons, healthcare investments are a good hedge against inflation provided you are not investing in early stage companies. Industries like biotechnology provide higher growth potential but this comes at the expense of stability. We can then conclude that investing in healthcare stocks has the following advantages. 1. The sector outperforms the broader market during cyclical downturns. 2. An aging population guarantees future demand, in turn ensuring the stability of the overall sector. Finally at number 3, a number of technological advances have made healthcare provision better than ever before. The disadvantages of the sector include it has weaker than average dividends. There is increased government scrutiny of drug prices. Finally, there is a growing number of Americans without health insurance, which prohibits access to healthcare products and services. Now that you know a little more about the healthcare sector, what individual stocks should you be looking at to both diversify your portfolio and at the same time provide you with some passive income by having a high yield dividend? We are going to look at three healthcare stocks you might want to consider adding to your portfolio plus a bonus stock for you to consider. Let's start with a stock that has been not only giving but also increasing its dividends for over 46 years, the stock symbol MDT represents Medtronic PLC, a global healthcare company that specializes in medical technology, services, and solutions. Here are some key details about Medtronic. It is one of the largest medical technology companies in the world. It was founded in 1949 and is headquartered in Dublin, Ireland, with operational headquarters in Minnesota. Medtronic designs, manufactures, and markets a wide range of medical devices and therapies across multiple therapeutic areas. Their products include cardiac and vascular devices, minimally invasive surgical solutions, restorative therapies, diabetes management tools, and more. The company serves healthcare professionals and patients in more than 150 countries worldwide. They have a significant international presence and operate through a network of manufacturing facilities, research centers, and sales offices. MDT current share price as of today June 5, 2023 is $83.90 with a dividend yield of 3.26% and a dividend payout ratio of 87.47%. 
Our next stock symbol is AMGN which represents Amgen Incorporated, an American multinational biopharmaceutical company. Here are some key details about Amgen. It was founded in 1980 and is headquartered in Thousand Oaks, California. It is one of the largest biotechnology companies globally and focuses on the discovery, development, and commercialization of innovative therapies for serious illnesses. Amgen's primary areas of focus include oncology, cancer treatments, nephrology, kidney diseases, cardiovascular, heart-related conditions, inflammation, and bone health. The company has developed several groundbreaking drugs in these fields. Amgen has a diverse portfolio of products, including well-known drugs such as Enbrel, for autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis, Nelasta and Nupogen, for stimulating white blood cell production, Prolia, for osteoporosis, and several cancer treatments like Vectabix, Kyprolis, and Blincyto. Amgen invests significantly in research and development, R&D, to advance scientific knowledge and develop new therapies. The company has a robust pipeline of investigational drugs at various stages of development and has historically been a financially successful company. However, its performance is subject to various factors such as drug approvals, competition, and market conditions. AMGN current share price as of today June 5, 2023, is $219.67 with a dividend yield of 3.91% and a dividend payout ratio close to the sector's average of 55.17%. Next up is a company you may have heard of or better yet you have most definitely used one of their products. The company is Pfizer Incorporated, an American multinational pharmaceutical company with the stock symbol PFE. Here are some key details about Pfizer. It was founded in 1849 and is one of the world's largest pharmaceutical companies. It is headquartered in New York City and operates in various segments of the healthcare industry, including innovative pharmaceuticals, vaccines, and consumer healthcare products. Pfizer's pharmaceutical portfolio covers a broad range of therapeutic areas, including immunology, oncology, cardiology, endocrinology, neurology, and more. They have developed numerous well-known drugs, including Lipitor, for cholesterol management, Viagra, for erectile dysfunction, Lyrica, for neuropathic pain and epilepsy, and Zelgens, for rheumatoid arthritis. Pfizer has a strong presence in the vaccine market. In collaboration with BioNTech, they developed and gained emergency use authorization for the COVID-19 vaccine, known as Comirnaty. Pfizer also produces other vaccines, including those for pneumococcal disease, meningococcal disease, and influenza. Pfizer's consumer healthcare division offers over-the-counter products, such as pain relievers, vitamins, digestive health aids, and skin care products. Some well-known brands in this segment include Advil, Centrum, Chapstick, and Caltrate. Current share price as of today June 5, 2023, is $38.77 with a dividend yield of 4.28% and a dividend payout ratio of 23.38%. Finally, as a bonus, we are going to throw in one more stock and it is the dividend yield darling of the sector. We are talking about the Abvi Incorporated, an American multinational pharmaceutical company. Here are some key details about Abvi. It was founded in 2013 as a spin-off from Abbott Laboratories. It is headquartered in North Chicago, Illinois, and focuses on the discovery, development, and commercialization of advanced therapies and treatments in several therapeutic areas. Abvi's primary focus lies in areas such as immunology, oncology, virology, neuroscience, and women's health. The company has developed several notable drugs, including Humira, which is one of the world's best-selling prescription medications and is used to treat various autoimmune diseases. Abvi's portfolio includes treatments for conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, multiple sclerosis, hepatitis C, Parkinson's disease, and cancer. The company is committed to advancing research and development efforts in these areas. Abvi invests significantly in research and development to discover and develop innovative therapies. The company has a strong pipeline of investigational drugs at various stages of development. ABBV current share price as of today June 5, 2023, is $137.56 with a dividend yield of 4.33%.
We do want to mention the risk of investing in any stock but we are going to highlight our last stock as we had some concerns adding it to our list. First AbbVie's dividend payout ratio is very high at 136.67% and many consider this as unsustainable. Another issue that's likely bugging investors is the company's debt load of nearly $70 billion. Such a debt burden indeed looms large in comparison to its assets. It's also true that being highly leveraged could make borrowing money more expensive, imperiling its earnings down the line. Furthermore, Wall Street analysts estimate on average that the pharmaceutical giant's revenue and earnings will shrink slightly in 2023 as a result of the loss of exclusivity of one of its most lucrative medicines, Humira. But, management expects the company to recover and return to sales growth in 2024 and 2025, so if it can maintain the dividend or grow it at a slower pace through then, the payout will probably be in the clear. As long as it keeps commercializing new medicines and working to widen the approved indications for its existing medicines to increase the size of its addressable markets, it's reasonable to expect its earnings to continue to grow. And with nine regulatory submissions for new drugs planned for 2023 alone, several new income streams are close to being guaranteed to launch in the near term. While we strive to provide accurate and up-to-date information, it's important to remember that markets can be unpredictable, and investment outcomes are subject to risk. We strongly encourage you to conduct your own research, consider your financial goals, risk tolerance, and seek professional advice before making any investment decisions. Investing can be an empowering way to build wealth and achieve financial goals. We aim to help you navigate the investment landscape confidently, regardless of your experience level. By staying informed, understanding market dynamics, and making well-considered choices, you can take control of your financial future. Remember, we're here to provide educational content and insights, but we are not financial advisors. Join us on this exciting journey of learning, exploring, and empowering your investment decisions. Let's dive in and start maximizing your investment potential. We hope you learned something in today's episode and hope you support us by hitting that like and subscribe button and turning on notifications plus don't forget to let us know you subscribed in the comments along with anything else you would like us to know. Until the next episode. Keep diving for income and have a great day.